Hey, what's up guys? It's Todd. I got a couple questions on the blog about some of the exercises that I use for hip flexor activation. So I want to show you a couple that I use with the squat rack and the mini band. Real simple, we do one prone and we do one supine. So if you come over to the prone, all you're going to do, set yourself up in the band like this. Just make a loop, get your foot through it. Have it right around your ankle. Okay. We're going to get down in the push-up position, so almost like a mountain climber. So essentially what you're doing is a single leg mountain climber, and you're going to drive the one knee up towards your chest to create that hip flexion, while simultaneously squeezing the opposite glute to create stability at your hips. So if you think about when you run, you want that separation with one glute extending the hip and the other hip flexor flexing the opposite hip. So that's what we're going to create. And the whole time we're going to work on our brace, so we're going to have tight abs, we're going to have tight lats, and we're going to keep everything else neutral. So we're going to get down in that position, set hard in the push-up position, squeeze that back glute, drive up to the chest. Good. Uh, as far as rep ranges go, it's an activation exercise, so we don't want to exhaust. So it could be anywhere from 5 to 12 reps, depending on the person. So just make sure you're not exhausted when uh, you don't exhaust your flexor at the end and uh, use it at the beginning after you've activated your glutes. So um, one, of the, one of the key things that I like to talk about when we're talking about mobility and stability is um, mobilize, activate, and integrate. So mobilize, we're gonna stretch the hip flexors because typically they're tight. We're gonna activate them with stuff like this and glute bridges obviously to activate the glutes so we have that stability. And then we're gonna integrate it into movement and move on to a lunge or some kind of squat pattern, something like that. But before we get into anything else like that, I'm gonna show you the other hip flexor activation exercise that I like to use. Actually, my brother Terry came up with this one and it's, uh, it's pretty good. So what you're gonna do, same setup with the band, but this time you're gonna hook it around your foot and you're gonna lay on your back. Just make sure that you're in a straight line with the band. <laughs> what you're gonna do is you're still gonna to work to create that separation with your hips. You're gonna squeeze this glute while you simultaneously flex the opposite hip. So you're gonna push this foot into the, into the floor to contract this glute and then bring this knee up to your chest. Same thing, we don't want that rounding at the lumbar spine, we want that stability. So we're gonna brace with our abs to keep our spine nice and straight as we bring our knee up to our chest. Right there. If you need more tension, I like to do a slide out a little bit. Good. So the key thing is not only activating our hip flexors, but also getting the contralateral glute firing. So we create that stability at the hips create that separation as if we were running or, or doing something uh, in that manner, something athletic. So that's it. Try them out.